So let's say we have a ball at point B of our ellipse here, which is one of the foci. And we're gonna shoot it in any direction and bounce it off the edge. It turns out that wherever you shoot it, it's gonna go through point A, which is the other focus. This amazing property is called the reflective property of ellipses. And today we're gonna prove it using only basic geometry. First off, we're gonna talk about what it really means to reflect off the inside of an ellipse. When we're reflecting off the edge of an ellipse, we're actually bouncing it off the tangent line at that point, which is the green line. But how do we know where this reflection will go? Reflecting B over the green line to form B prime will make this more clear. The reflected ray will continue in the direction from B prime to C. We want to prove that A is on this reflected line, or in other words, A, C, and B prime are collinear. We will prove this by contradiction. We will first assume that they are not collinear, and then we will find a reason why this is impossible. If they aren't collinear, then A, B prime must intersect the green line at some other point. We will call this point C prime. We know by the triangle inequality that A, B prime is less than B prime C plus A, C. Splitting this up, we have A, C prime plus C prime B is less than B prime C plus C A. Now we can notice that the purple lengths are equal and the red lengths are equal. This is because B prime is the mirror image of B. And so everything is symmetric on either side of the green line. This means that we can replace C prime B prime with C prime B and C B prime with C B. Our new inequality is A C prime plus C prime B is less than A C plus C B. Let's go back for a moment and remember how an ellipse is defined. For any point C on the edge of the ellipse, the sum of the lengths to the foci, which are A and B, is constant. So in other words, CA plus CB is constant. We will call this length 2A. This means that for any point outside the ellipse, the sum of the distances to A and B will be greater than 2A. Now let's go back to our original diagram. Zooming in, we see that C prime must be outside the ellipse. This is because the green line is a tangent line, which only intersects the ellipse once. This means that C prime A plus C prime B must be greater than 2A. We also know that CA plus CB equals 2A because C is on the edge of the ellipse. And so C prime A plus C prime B is greater than CA plus CB. However, remember that before we proved that it is actually less. Now we have a contradiction because it can't be both greater than and less than at the same time. Remember that this, on, this contradiction only happens when A, C, and B prime aren't collinear. This means that the only possibility is that A, C, and B prime are collinear. 
Since A, C, and B prime are collinear, A must lie on the reflection of the line B, C. And so we're done. We've proven that whichever way we send something from B, bounce it off the edge of the lip and bounce it off the edge of the ellipse, we will end up at point A. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and see you in the next video.